Go ahead. Shit, a flat tire. Holy crap, I got a flat tire. That sucks. Oh my god. Alright, well I'm at the end. That sucks. Good morning. I am riding for the first time in Houston this entire year since my bike has been in my storage unit or on the back of my van most of the time. Um, but my tires are a bit flat, not flat, but they're just a bit low and I don't have a pump and uh, the bike shop that I usually go to doesn't open until noon so I'm going to a different bike shop which requires me to ride 28 minutes um, and then I'm going to finish my 23 mile ride um, which is good. It's hot and humid, I'm not used to riding my bike down here so it's a bit of a struggle although I used to do this every single day in 2020 when I rode 5,000 miles on my mountain bike that year. Um, so yeah, so this is good. It's a Sunday morning. There's no one around. So that's nice. And I'm kind of lost. I need to look for a different street. I think that's Alabama. I need to go up to Fairview. Yeah, so good ride in Houston. Uh, so because I ride so much here, it's very easy for me to ride elsewhere in the country, in the world. Um, because the weather is so horrible and you can't breathe. The humidity is so bad. And of course I've got this balaclava on for sun protection and also the mosquitoes and bugs so yeah okay so I'm just gonna go find the bike shop and then uh get this sorted I think I need to look at my map I'm not entirely sure where I am right now I know where I am but I need to like get off my usual trail and go find the bike shop so this is the bike shop I've never been here before um they're supposed to open at 10 30 it's now 10 20 so I'm not entirely sure what is going on. There is a really good coffee shop called Common Bond, like right around the corner. I'm tempted to go get a bagel or a croissant or something. But yeah, I guess I'll just wait. Maybe I'll call them, see if they're... Oh no, there's people in there. I see somebody. Yep. I need to get a new bike. That's a cool one. Yeah, I just need to get an extra bike. <laughs> so one that I can actually put inside my van. So this isn't all rusted, but you can see here my chain, because it's been on the back of the bike for a while, is all rusted. So I'm going to get a new chain later today and pick it up later this week. But for now, I just need some oil and some air. Trek bikes. I was going to tell you that I really liked their logo on Bike Barn because it reminded me of the Isle of Man logo that had three legs because they always land on their feet. I'm assuming, well I have a Trek bike as you can see, so I am assuming that this is the store that will uh, fix my chain and I should uh, actually get another bike. I'm gonna go look at bikes. I might buy one today and just ride home on the new bike and drop the old bike off and then this way this is my spare and if I can figure out a bike that I can put in the back of my van, in the garage, then I'll do that. So there's me, okay. Okay, so I got my new bike and I have to walk the other bike home. I only live like right across the railroad track there on the wrong side, <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, super cool, it's getting hot now and I think it's gonna rain. So yeah, this is tequila. And this is Star, because she's a track. And so, yeah, so actually some old guy in the uh, store goes, oh, it looks like a tequila sunrise. So that is tequila. 
and I am now going to walk home <laughs> and look like I just stole a bunch of bicycles. That's too funny. Okay, so we're taking the ski lift up. This is so much better than Taos. First of all, the parking lot is right next to the ski lift. Second, there's no horrible, like nasty, treacherous road to try to get the van up. Third, this is all just mountain biking. <laughs> so, I mean, they have skiing as well, but literally this is like mostly mountain biking and they have a ton of different runs. Um, there's tequila ahead of me for the first time. And the guy's like, you ever mounted a bike on this? I'm like, no. <laughs> So, I mean, Spider Mountain, what they do is they just literally put a coat hook and just like hook your front wheel on. So the other bike is getting fixed right now um, and I'll switch the bikes out once it's ready. I stupidly left my, well, Harriet's phone is on the back of my van right now on the tailgate. So I may have to just quickly ride down. I'm assuming it's probably not gonna take very long to get down. Go check and make sure the phone is not, you know, stolen. And then um, I have GPS tracking on it, but still it's like, that's got a ton of stuff on it that I really, you know, don't want to lose that phone. So I may have to just ride this back down again. It's a very like all over the place morning. I'm like, you know, I got up and I had a nice drive over here, but once I got here, it was like hard finding parking and then some people cleared out. So I don't know if this has been open earlier than nine o'clock. It said online it was nine o'clock, but it's still pretty busy. Um, but yeah, I think, um, and also the ski lift goes really fast, which is nice. So I think I'm going to probably take this back down or I'll just ride down. And then if the phone gets stolen, I can just figure out where the phone is. <laughs> I've got five extra days now in uh, New Mexico, thanks to Paladuro flooding and Caprot flooding. So yeah, stupidly left the phone. Oh my God. Okay, no worries. How do we know where they start? I don't really know. Don't you don't know, know either. <laughs> I'm looking for the green one that goes down. <laughs> so. This one right. Somebody here. told me. Are you chipmunk? Chipmunk? Okay. Chipmunk said somebody said left from the. It's lip. right there by that red thing, I think. It's right. Stop. See, it's Stop. Stop. on here. Okay. So it merges with take nine, which is this All one right. right here. Really? Yeah, see. They said that uh, Easy Street's the longest green one. I just want to do a green one to start, but I want to get down quickly so I can go get my phone. Yeah, I think you would take that right there. Though. Yeah, that this road, road, look, that road is, that road will lead. I don't want to take the road, I'll take. Uh, and then there's some Easy Street. No, I, I'll, I'll take the, okay. which one's that one? That one's that Chipmunk? One. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is fun <laughs> and like terrifying. <laughs> so, all right. this is more my thing the other one was like shit no traction i fell twice <laughs> not a reflection of my skill and i'm on the new bike so i'm not used to the power but this is much better i think i'll do easy street for a bit and then go back and try chipmunk yeah this is a little bit damp so this is nice but i don't mind rocky i much prefer rocky actually so there we go much better I think I'll do this one. This is more of a trail than a downhill ski slope. Oh, cool. yeah, let's do this for a bit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I thought I lost my phone. Nope, it just went down there. Oh my God. <laughs> that scared me for a minute. Okay, keep going. This is good, I'm just learning the track no one else is on here even the little kids aren't even on here but this is more my style the bmx track very rocky so i can go fast 
in longer turns. So yeah, this is much better. Much, much better. I just have to figure out how to get to this trail, not by via, via the chipmunk, because that's where I fell twice. Holy shit. Yeah, my dumbass. Don't slow down on a mountain bike track to let people pass. Just be a now I know why people, why mountain bikers are arrogant. Because if you slow down and let someone pass, you're gonna end up falling. So here we go. This is fun, this is great. This is beautiful. So I'll do a couple more runs without the camera, and then when I get, you know, badass mode, I'll put you guys back on. But I'm gonna do this one first and see how long it takes. Go check and make sure Harriet's phone is still there. Uh, and uh, trail intersection ahead, okay. All right. And yeah, this is beautiful. Much better than Taos. Okay. I'm just not sure about the new bike. I kind of miss my old bike. It's ready. The tire's already been fixed. So I'll do a few more runs with this and I'll go get my bike and try the other one, the other bike. Yeah, this is good. I'll have to nurse all my war wounds. <laughs> uh, I will also try the full face mask, although I don't really need it on this trail. This one's pretty tame. They recommend you have a full face helmet, but you don't really need it if you're gonna do easy street. That is if you've been like, you know, an extensive mountain biker like myself. And because I've ridden so many crappy trails and different inclement weather and stuff like that, I can pretty much handle anything, I think. But I'm not a, you know, X Games pro mountain biker. <laughs> so I don't need to be a hero today, try to jump off shit, which I don't even do anyway. Even when I did BMX racing, I did the racing and a few stunts, but nothing else. I didn't do all the tricks and stuff. Okay. Easy street. I have no idea where I am. Yeah, you have to remember this is tundra. This is like covered in snow a couple of months of the year. Oh, this is Duchess. I don't want Duchess, I want Easy Street. Don't know. Okay, hang on.
Shit, a flat tire. Holy crap, I got a flat tire. That sucks. Oh my god. All right, well, I'm at the end. That sucks. Well, thankfully, I'm at the end of the run, but I got a flat tire. I'm not sure how. So I'm gonna go take this to the bike shop and go pick up the other bike and switch them out. All right, well, almost there. I've got to walk the rest of the way. Okay, so my last run of the day is on, or well, the last two runs will be on tequila. And we'll see how these uh, sealant tires work. So the first part is this gravel road, which sucks. <laughs> and then I'll get on the easy trail. Okay, so I adjusted the chest clip. So hopefully it'll be a bit better of a view. Let me see if I can pull it up a little bit more. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna film the whole trail. It should be about 30 minutes. Um, so, I don't know, maybe I'll just post the whole trail or just do it sped up, I don't know, we'll see. But, super fun. And I'm on tequila, so gotta learn how to ride her again. Feels pretty good though, back tire feels good. Now on this, these trails, I'm pretty much standing up most of the way or just hovering over the seat um, just for control. But this is great. So I'm going to do this one and then one last run and then the park closes around four and then I'll go pick up my t-shirts that I got for me and Jeff. I got us matching shirts so we can be obnoxious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's really cleared out now. There's not a lot of people here. It was really packed this morning at like eight o'clock. So I think because it's Labor Day, people are probably came here in the morning and they're probably going to do something 
later elsewhere but it's good and everyone here I have to say are absolutely super nice and when I talk to them about what I do with disabled people uh, and people that are like adventurers that have you know mobility needs they have uh, three wheeled bikes for people that are in wheelchairs so they can actually ride these trails which I think is absolutely badass so I will definitely be back here in the spring and hopefully well, Jeff and I can come out and we both have um, some you know mobility issues my spine and then he was in um, a motorcycle crash so there's some uh, things that we just kind of pushed through we were still able to ride mountain bikes motorcycles hike do all that fun stuff it doesn't limit us there is no limitations this is beautiful though it is warm though I thought it'd be a little cooler but feels good no humidity so I'll take that being a being a pseudo Texan but now I kind of know this trail so that's good I'm not going very fast on it though um, I'm just kind of like just getting used to like the bike and handling now the track bike uh, the other track has a uh, narrower handlebars and uh, air shocks whereas this one is coil shock so I can feel a stark difference in how my wrists feel on this bike versus the track bike that has the air shocks this one is very hard on my wrists and I can't really feel my hands very well but I can absolutely feel that this is like slamming my wrists down every time I hit one of these rocks it's okay I mean it's not painful it's just very uncomfortable so either I get used to it or I just uh, switch out the fork for an air shock which I really like I really like the coil uh, sorry the air shock that uh, Jeff put on the other bike so yeah so this is my second to last run and uh, yeah I'll just barrel through so please enjoy the ride hopefully I won't crash hopefully I won't get a uh, flat tire I crashed four times and uh, two of them you got on camera three of them you got on camera the last one you didn't get someone down a ravine so <laughs> which was kind of fun couple ant hills this one's a jump little jump I'm not jumping today <laughs> I don't want to go head first into the grass again okay good all right so I have to remember to go pick up my souvenir bag from the shop which I'll probably get on the way on the way out after my second run after this run I'll do one more and then I'll go back here we go good stuff up there man I, I had a little ride break it's definitely uh it's fast yeah it was a speed bump a few times when i crashed and people just rode over me <laughs> i'll need some help getting this on sure, I can't. i'm disabled it's toasty down here yeah it's all dry up there too yeah yeah i noticed that uh <laughs> earlier on my ride break i was like oh dust is showing up again you get a ride break, not a lunch break. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we get a little ride break. How do I get that job? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. That was one of the perks I was looking at when I moved up here. I was like, man, I need to get a job. <laughs> I just want to do the least amount of effort possible and get paid for it. That's, yeah. that's my thing. <laughs> I hear you. I was like, how can I go and pay for a lot of the stuff? And they pay the resort dues on your property. Oh, really? Yeah. Good afternoon. 
afternoon it took me about 30 minutes just to get out of my neighborhood so I went to the bike shop which used to be bike barn and now it's the trek shop and I went in there and I explained to them um, you know some issues I had with the bike they sold me wasn't really the bike that I should have used for the kind of riding that I do now I don't do like road racing or competitive cycling or anything like that what I do is very slow trail riding I love riding different terrains I sometimes have to carry my bike up a mountain um, I love riding down ski slopes I love BMX tracks so I'm not a very fast rider like on my trail riding but I am very fast when I do like the downhill mountain bike parks uh, which I'm wearing you can't really see but I'm wearing my Angel Fire bike park t-shirt so I went in there and I was just you know venting and like look like I don't think the bike I had was you know the one they sold me after I explained what I do then I showed them the track bike that I had on my bike ride this morning um, and they were like wow like what did you do to it and so I explained that we rebuilt the whole bike and uh, it was the old rental bike I had bought from them during COVID for like 300 bucks and uh, I think it's like a around like nine or nine hundred or a thousand so the uh, owner of the track now it's track bikes the owner of the track bike shop said well just bring your new mountain bike back and we'll give you a refund I was like oh well I rode it one time like once or twice and I it just it's just not working for me and then he said yeah if you you know want to switch it out I can give you like a four hundred dollar discount on a much better model um, which would just you know I would just pay like the hundred dollar difference or something and I said look I said I'm not really gonna do anything really extensive until probably January when I go back to like you know some longer trips um, but uh, I said okay if it's okay with you for me to bring my bike back <laughs> I will go get my bike so I am driving rushing right now on the speed limit uh, rushing on the toll road to get out to my van I've got about 25 more minutes um, go get the truck bike go get tequila and then go take her back and say bye-bye <laughs> and then I have to go to my daughter's school today she has her uh, back to school dance for third through fifth grade so um, that should be fun so volunteering um, which I have to be up there by four and um, so I'm gonna quickly get up to my uh, get up to the bike shop or um, get back to the bike shop so it's 40 minutes out or actually 45 minutes out 40 minutes back I uh, drop the bike off get the refund and then get changed and the weather is actually there we go this guy weather's actually cooling down it's a little bit hot this morning on my bike ride um, but I had a good ride so yeah so bye bye tequila that was short and sweet it's not the right bike the um, suspension it felt like it was going to break my wrists and because I already have spine disability and I have I can't really feel my hands it just was very very dangerous and the fact that I crashed like four times on that bike because I lost control of it and I'm actually a pretty professional rider um, it just wasn't it wasn't gonna work out for me so they are gonna give me my $1,100 refund <laughs> which will be great, but I did buy a full face helmet. So now I've got a full face helmet that actually fits me. Unlike the previous helmet in Santa Fe, they had to take that back because it was, you know, way too, my, my brain is too big. <laughs> so my brain's massive because I'm super smart. So I now have a proper face helmet. He gave me a discount on that. Um, so I'll just get the, uh, the refund for the, for the bike. So it's sad. I really, really wanted to have the new Trek bike but it's not it's not safe and I could potentially the way that I ride I could potentially get injured so I will stick with the Franken bike that we rebuilt <laughs> which is actually working out really well so um, and the other thing is that I have an air compressor on the new on the old black bike that I have and tequila only has a coil rock shocks and I think that's the issue is I need an air compressor which is a couple hundred dollars more so you're looking at about fifteen hundred sixteen hundred dollar bike and an eleven hundred dollar bike doesn't have what I need so I don't want to spend that money I'll get the money back spend it on Christmas presents for Harriet <laughs> so but yeah now I go in that Trek shop and I'm like oh I'm very loyal to Trek I don't do specialized or any of those other brands I'm very very loyal to Trek I've always been loyal to them for a number of years and they've been good to me so this is just an example of uh, he said he's like we don't sell bikes we sell experiences I said well my experience I went over the handlebars four times <laughs> and 
and I crashed and I got really severely injured and my back blew out for the whole week. So I was in horrific pain the entire week after that mountain bike trip. So, you know, a lot of it was because of the shaking of the bike and the fact that there was, you know, that didn't have the right suspension. So he did show me some newer bikes, uh, one that was like $6,000, a brand new bike. I was like, um, I would, I'm not gonna spend $6,000 on a bike. I'd rather spend $6,000 on a motorcycle that would be more fun. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm just going to put the money into, um, you know, stuff for Harriet and then also um, work toward getting my motorcycle license and then getting the Honda Monkey, which, well actually I want a Royal Enfield, but the Monkey's small and it would fit on the back of my van. Um, that would be great, but I think I would gear toward a um, Royal Enfield, not the Himalayan because it's too similar to a Harley. Um, I'd rather get like an older, like a brand new bike but an older style like the one I rode when I was in India I'd rather get something like that anyway I don't know um, either way it's got to fit on the back of my motorcycle or back of my van uh, on a motorcycle rack which I don't have and uh, so anyway okay cool well that's it for now I'm gonna head out grab the uh, mountain bike uh, get my refund and then uh, get on to Harriet's little shindig Okay, bye-bye Trek bike. Go back to your home where you were born. I am giving you up for adoption. <laughs>